In order to set up our new Cyfrog X1 wallet, we have to go to cyfrog.com slash go. And there you will find a quick unboxing video and you can download the desktop app called SciSync. This is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. We will do it with Windows, but in this video I will show you everything for the Windows, but I assume that it's the same for Mac and Linux. Along with that, you will also find a bunch of tutorial videos. So even if you're a complete beginner, everything is new, Cyfrog got you covered. And of course, me too, when we are going in this video step by step, how we set up the Cyfrog wallet, how we do transactions, how signing a transaction actually works, how we can receive cryptos and much more. Okay, so once you install the application, they do have some information for you. So they really do a good job actually through the entire process so that you can set it up even if you're a complete beginner. So they really got you covered. So first of all, you should confirm that you are in a safe and secure environment and best of course alone. You should need at least 10 to 15 minutes to set up everything. You need an active internet connection. You should make sure that the package you got was totally tramper proof sealed. Cyfrog will never ask you for your seed phrase and will not ask you to sign any transactions, not via email, not via telegram and also actually no other admin from any other project. And whenever you receive an email from Cyfrog, please make sure that you receive it from cyfrog.com. Okay, now continue. You have the option to either or choose that you already have used Cyfrog before we go for the first time. Read please all the terms of services and privacy policy, of course. And once you did it, confirm them. Now you have the option to set a password, which I highly recommend you to do. However, this is optional, so you could skip this process if you really want to, but I'll set it up now. You also have an option to enter your email address over here. This is nothing they store permanently. It's just so that you get authentic results in your inbox. So actually, once we are setting up this device, we will get this kind of email, some authentication report saying that our X1 world is really legit. And we do get a second email similar to this and it's saying that our cards are legit. You don't have to do it. I do recommend it to you. And if you don't want to use your Gmail address or whatever, feel free to set up a new email address via Proton. Once this is done, it's time for us to connect our X1 Volt to the computer. The X1 Volt does have a USB-C connection. It comes with a USB-C cable. Das has a normal USB plot over there, but it also comes with an adapter, so we can have a two-way USB-C as well. Okay, now our X1 Volt will be authenticated and we do get the results soon on our computer, but also via email inbox. Now we are checking that the device is fully working, so we just use the five-way joystick and go up, go right, go down, go left and click on the button in the middle. Now we're checking if the cards are working. So we just tap any card on this device. It doesn't have to be the number one, just any. Now we need to connect all the cards with our vault. For this, we are now using the first card, tapping it on our device and wait until we have three beeps. Once this is done, we'll do the same with the second and again, wait for three beeps. The third one. Now we connected the card with the wallet and now it's time for us to either create a new wallet or to import a wallet from a seed phrase. I'll do and we'll go and create a completely new wallet. And here we have a two step instructions or actually two way instructions. So we can either follow the instructions on the computer or read all the instructions on our device. They're giving you the same information, but it's totally up to your preference. So we just click on create a wallet we do generate a new wallet and then they're saying you'll need all the cards to create a wallet. Do you want to proceed? And we say yes. Actually, this device is really easy to navigate. So you really just go left and right and up and down and to confirm whatever you want to just press here. However, one thing which is a little annoying is to enter the wallet name because you have to browse through all the alphabet and 
yeah, it just can take some time. But fortunately, it's just a one-time thing, right? So I'll just leave it with the name A1 to make it quick. Now, after we can create a pin, if we want to, to access this device. It is highly recommended to do this. However, it's not compulsory. It's totally optional, but it gives you, of course, an additional layer of security, but make sure that you do remember the pin because if you are losing the pin, you will lose access to your cryptos. So write it down somewhere, keep it in your mind, whatever is most comfortable with you, but do not ever forget or lose the pin. I mean, you still can have access to your cryptos, even you lost the pin in case you decide to write down your seed phrase, which you can with Cypher. It is optional also, so you can also just use the card where the seed phrase are stored and secured and backed up, but you can also just make them visible, write them down somewhere and secure them. And by the way, this pin for your X1 world can be any letter and number combination of your choice. Once we did this, we'll take the card number one and place it below over here. Now card number two, card number three, and the last one. Wallet created successfully. You can view the seed phrase on the device. We don't need this device and a card to make transactions. You'll need this device and a card to make transactions. So whenever you do any transaction, you don't need all four cards, but actually just this device and any of those cards. It doesn't have to be the number one or whatever. If you want to see your C phrase, you just go on settings. Once you're in the main menu, you can go on your device name. So in my case, it's A1 and you can click on view seed. If you do this, of course, write them down somewhere securely. Don't let anyone get it into your hands. Best use a metal plate to do it. I will link you some down below, which I also recommend. And if you decide Cyfrog is for you, don't forget there's also a link in the description, which will give you 17% discount. Once you set up your wallet, I recommend you to go to settings and to enable the passphrase. This gives you even more security. Everyone who doesn't know what a passphrase is yet, the passphrase is an additional word which we add to our normal seed phrase and this leads for an entire new wallet to be created. However, and this is a huge security feature, this passphrase is not bound to a dictionary and it's not a word which will be given to you, but you can decide whatever you want to. And it's not just any word, but it, it's letter, number combination, and usually even special characters. So once you set up a passphrase, it's almost impossible to hack a seed phrase. Oh,